Welcome back, guys. The Chicago Bulls lost another game, losing to the Detroit Pistons 105-95 to in an embarrassing fashion of a game where, honestly, it just pisses you off as a fan. We had terrible play from Kobe, terrible play from Ayo Dasumu, Billy Donovan didn't know how to coach a team, and we played Javon Carter minutes that we just shouldn't have given him because Javon Carter sucks ass. And other than that, this is going to be a rant video, so I'm going to talk a lot of shit. I'm going to say a lot of things that probably some people agree with, but probably don't want to say out loud. And we're going to talk about it right after the intro. Give me the hot sauce! Give me the hot sauce, Bob. For the lead! Go! Oh. Did you not get the memo? Don't shoot me for the lead! I want to go higher! Oh my goodness! Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. <sighs> Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. And if you're new to the channel, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get right into this rant because, honestly, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this dumbass team tonight because I don't want it to fuck with my mental. So what we're going to talk about is the Chicago Bulls blowing a game that they should have won in terrible fashion, and part of that was them shooting 7 fucking percent from the field. The Bulls shot 2 for 29 this game. 2 for 29. They are professional basketball team that couldn't shoot the broad iron of a fucking barn i can shoot better than two for fucking 29 i don't understand why this team is so terrible at shooting threes whenever kobe's not shooting i don't know what it is mentally but if kobe's not scoring no one else on this team knows how to shoot and the biggest issue with that is not only were we struggling with shooting from the three-point line Billy Donovan's dumbass decided to keep Javon Carter in this game, even though he's playing just as trash as he always does. I don't know why he continues to get minutes. I just don't. You have Julian Phillips on the bench who has been showing he could shoot probably better than Javon Carter. We don't want to play him. We just signed Batim to an actual contract in the NBA. One of the best three-point shooters on the Windy City Bulls. He could be probably one of the best shooters on the actual Bulls. But guess what? Billy Donovan doesn't know he's on the bench. He doesn't want to play him. We have Drell, who's also on the bench, who's a three-point shooter. Nah, we're good. We're going to keep Javon ass in there, and he's going to miss wide open layups. He's going to miss three-point shots. He's going to fucking airball because for some reason, I've never seen a player who airballs as much as him other than Denzel Valentine. I don't understand what this team is doing. This is a game where you come in, Detroit played last night, they played a hard game, and they had to fly here late. And they came out and put it to you, right? They were hitting the fast break, getting out, out running the Bulls at every angle when it came to getting rebounds and pushing the pace. And this is something that pisses me off because the Bulls aren't super old. We have some old players in DeMar DeRozan, in Vooch, somewhat in Drummond, I will say. But you have to look at how young this team is with Kobe and Io, and you have Phillips, you have Daylon Terry. You have young players who can get out. But for some reason, we don't want to do that. And I don't know if it's because Billy isn't coaching correctly or if our team is just lazy as all goddamn hell. But there has to be a change. This is the type of shit you can't keep seeing. You just can't. 105 to 95. We lost 10 points. We lost by 10 points to the fucking Detroit Pistons. They literally are one of the worst teams in the league. But honestly, at this point, the Bulls probably are one of the worst teams in the league. This competitive shit that we keep talking about, in all reality, we're competitive with being okay. That is what the Bulls are. The Bulls are a competitive team in the regular season. They're not a fucking competitive team in the playoffs. They're not a competitive team in the plan. This is a team built to just barely make the playoffs so they could say they're a playoff team and keep their jobs. So Jerry can keep getting money from all of us buying tickets because he wants us to make the playoffs so he can say, oh, it's the plan. Buy tickets. We're going to do more. Buy your season tickets next year. We're going to try to be better. This is bullshit. The Bulls suck. They continue to suck. Their continuity is them sucking. So let us know that we are going to be terrible. Let's play the terrible game. Get rid of DeMar this year. Get rid of Fuchs this year. And I love DeMar. I would love DeMar on this team. But let him go to a goddamn team that gives him a chance to do something. Because that's not us. We don't give him a chance to do absolutely jack shit 
other than do everything in his power to try to stop us from losing. That is what DeMar has become. He has stopped being the king of the fourth. He stopped being a closer. He's become the guy who stops the Bulls from getting blown out by 36. That is all he is now. Let this man go to L.A. Let him go to Milwaukee. Let him go somewhere else. To have a career. Shit, at this point, if we keep playing this way, if we keep having Billy and our dumbass front office, maybe let Kobe go. Let Kobe go somewhere and be great on a team that fucking matters. Because at this point, the Bulls might as well be a low market team. We really might just, we should just be a low market team. That's how we play. We play like we don't care about titles. We just care about the fans paying for tickets. We are one of the biggest cities in the entire league. One of the most profitable teams in the league. One of the biggest franchises in the league. Why are we not consistently trying to win? It gets on my nerves. Boston, LA, they keep trying to win. It doesn't matter what year it is. It doesn't matter what struggles they're going through. They are trying to get back to being a championship. You can honestly say Golden State is the same at this point. They are constantly trying to make sure they can get back to a championship. I don't hear any other goddamn team in this league who sits there and says, we just want to make the play in. We just want to be competitive. Shit, terrible teams don't want to just make the plans. I bet the Detroit Pistons could lose 37 games in a row and still have more heart and more want to be a late-round playoff type of team. This team is just shitty. They don't care about the city. They don't care about the shit that they wear on their goddamn jerseys. And it's getting more and more apparent that they don't care about winning anything for us. It annoys me to see a team where we watch them come out and play so good against some of the best teams in the league, but yet we consistently lose to the worst teams in the league. Why can't we just play teams that are supposed to be worse than us with the same intensity? Why do we always have to come out and let players shoot against us, right? It's always the no-name person who comes out and hits five or six threes against us, and we don't know what the hell to do. We leave the corner open. We leave the wing open. We let teams just shoot threes wherever they want, and then we come around and can't hit a goddamn three if our life depended on it. You could have told the Bulls if you hit four threes this game, you win the championship, and we still would not be a goddamn championship contender. That is an issue. It's just it's to a point now where I just want to make let's talk shit about the Bulls. Like it's it needs to be a whole new series on this channel where I just talk shit about this team and hopefully and I know they won't ever see it, but hopefully Jerry would see this shit and understand how much we hate him. Like it's getting just overly mad and let's talk about the game. Kent Cunningham had 26 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 for 5 from the three-point line. Ashir Thompson, the rookie, 13 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Stewart, 11 points. Ivy, 15 points. Duran, 14 points. Fonticio, right? Fonticio, some random-ass dude on the fucking Detroit Pistons. 17 points, 5 for 9 from the three-point line. Four of those threes were in the same corner. The Bulls just left them in the corner wide open didn't decide to defend them whatsoever and let them hit because that's what the Bulls do they let unknown people get some of their best shooting games against us because we don't know how to get out to the goddamn three-point line and just play defense right if Alice Caruso is not on the floor this team has no defense we're just a random assortment of high school players who hope that they can do something right there needs to be a change. When you look at this team, right, the Detroit Pistons, one, two, three, four, five, six, six players in double figures. Six players in double figures for the Detroit Pistons. Guess what? The Bulls, we're going to go over their, their numbers. Kobe White, 10 points. DeMar DeRozan, 25 points. Vooch, 25 points. Drummond, 20 points. Other than that, you barely had any points, right? Desumu, eight points. Caruso, four points. Terry, three points. Javon Carter, zero points because he's fucking trash. This team can't even score. Right? No one's hitting threes. Kobe White, 0 for 5. I would assume we're 0 for 5. Vucevic, 1 for 7. Why is Vuce taking the most threes? Someone tell me why Vuce is taking the most threes. That's an issue in itself. Your center, who sucks at shooting three-point shots, should not be shooting more threes than your fucking point guard. There's so many things wrong 
that the stats tell you. The Bulls don't know who they are. They don't know who's the shooter on the team. When somebody's struggling, Kobe had a bad game. He started to hesitate. He didn't want to pull up. I'd assume we started to hesitate because he was missing. He didn't know what to do. Javon Carter hesitated because he just hesitates and pump fix everything, including whatever he thought was going to happen in this career. I don't know what the fuck we thought with that. The only person who wasn't really hesitating was Dalen Terry, who honestly should have been the one having the worst game. This is a game that at the start of it, the first half, I wanted to come and talk about Dalen Terry and how he's showing improvement. I wanted to talk about Kobe White coming back in the second half and doing work because I thought that would happen. But now I'm stuck talking about how this team doesn't know how to play consistently. Right now, we are worse off than we were three years ago. And all we keep hearing is we're competitive. If this is what competitive is, if this game is what competitive is where every single game comes down to the fourth quarter because we can't get a 20-point lead on anybody, and if we do finally get a 15-point lead, we have to ruin it and make stupid decisions, I don't want to be competitive. Shit, let me suck then at that point. At least I'll be angry for a reason because we'll be getting better. But this being consistent, being continuity, being, you know, competitive shit that's keeping us in this middle ground of terrible play where we honestly are not the worst team. We don't get great draft picks, but we also have no chance of winning a title. I don't want to be here. I don't. I would much rather live in Detroit than be doing this shit right now. Like this, that's saying some shit, honestly. Because no one wants to live in Detroit. Shit, Detroit doesn't want to be Detroit. I don't know. Honestly, this was one of those games, as a Bulls fan, that truly show you why we have to be louder about what terrible things this team is doing. You have to stop giving them undue props. Because I'm not... I'm not ashamed to give them props when they're doing the right thing, but in games like this, because I hear a lot of times I see in the comment section where people blame Billy Donovan on times when it's not his fault. But games like this, it's your fucking fault. Put someone else in. There is no excuse for Javon Carter to be playing more minutes than Julian Phillips right now. There's none. Why did we sign Batim to another contract? Or it's to an actual contract if he's not going to play. I don't know what we're doing. The Bulls are just making moves, hoping that they can wait this shit out and seeing if they can collect a check long enough. They're the, you know who the Bulls are? The Bulls are that guy who gets that one girl who gets her income tax every year, right? And he's trying not to cheat, but he waits. And he doesn't cheat until she gives him half the check. That's what the Bulls are doing right now. They know that they're going to fucking piss us off. They know they're going to make the wrong decisions, but they're trying to push those decisions off until they make enough money, until they get enough years into this contract before they show their true colors. That's what we are. We're in a terrible, toxic-ass relationship with the Chicago Bulls. I hope you guys are just as annoyed as me. I know you probably are. I want to hear it in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this team, how they're playing, the bullshit that you're going through. And honestly, let me know if you have a therapist because honestly, I might have to get one strictly for this team, right? I might have to get a therapy session just to be a Bulls fan. With that, I hope y'all have a good night. I hope you enjoy everything. I'll see y'all next time. We got a game tomorrow. Hopefully we don't get fucking blown out. After this game, because you know how the Bulls are. They play terrible, and they come out the next game and look like they have lost their child. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I don't even know what the fuck to say anymore. I'll see y'all next game. Peace.